What is up guys, my name is KBoss and today we are going to be going over episode 8 of Clone Armies, all about the clones. So, without further ado, uh, make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe, let us start. Alright, so just got the sentinel away. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe, put, hit the bell, today we're going over Pyro, enjoy. Alright, 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 so, we, this is Pyro, say hello to Pyro everyone. As you can see, guys, um, yeah, you guys have to tell Pyro, hey. So, to upgrade Pyro as my Pyro to level 7, I have to, I, I have to get 3,000 DNA points, and I have 1,006. Kind of lame right now, but whatever. Well, well, we'll get over it, and as you guys can see that my rank has gone a little up, 1,806. I've been playing kind of high ranks lately, and it's been going kind of weird. Multiplayer... Lots of people have been getting disconnected, but I guess I kind of have been lucky, but I got disconnected twice, so not really that lucky, but kind of. Alright, anyways, this isn't about multiplayer, this is about Pyro, guys. This is the Pyro episode that a lot of people might have been waiting for, especially maybe Dorit if he watches, if he has, if he's generous enough to watch my videos. Anyway, as you can see, guys, his uh, price is a fair 250 blue coins, which I kind of understand, because, I mean, Pyro, he's, he's like the only... Um, clone that can do splash damage, I think, right? He's the only one that can kill people, that can kill clones, people. I said a bad word. He, uh, the one that can kill people, um, kill clones, clones, alright? The, the only one that can kill clones if there's a clone standing in front of him. So, he's just a perfect splash damage guy. So, yeah, alright. So, his health is 510, as you, you can see, it's uh, really urging me to upgrade him. So, and it looks kind of annoying. Uh, his health is 510. If I upgrade him to level 7, his health is gonna go up to tw uh, plus 26. Not bad. And his damage is 159. He does a pretty good amount of damage. But he doesn't do good damage against a level 5 commando whenever the tank is running after him. And you guys probably experienced that in my, uh, video on Colonel 2 Challenge. Y'all should check that out. Anyway, uh... His damage would be upgraded to plus 8 if I upgrade him to level 7. Um, and his speed is a fair 45, and I kind of understand that. Uh, actually, I don't. I really don't. Well, actually, yeah, I kind of do, because he has to carry, the, like, that gas tank behind him. You see, like, that tank-looking thing? Yeah, that's for the pyro. And as you can see, he's got, like, kind of a flame. He does a good amount. And sometimes if you go a little bit, uh, far, um... Even like this, even if the flame doesn't even have to hit him, and they could still die. Can you believe it? That, that's just what's good about it. And uh, to show the splash damage, yeah. He, but when he walks, his uh, flame looks kind of short, and it's not as good. But it does fair amount of damage against Giant, and if He's, he's kind of fast, and he's kind of good if you want to distract him. And as you can see, that beautiful splash damage right here. And killing an infantry won't be too bad either. Um, he, they could kind of help you in everything. It's That's just what I love about clone armies. It's just got so many unique features. And every single clone does something productive. That... That's what makes Clone Armies the perfect game for everyone. But anyways, this is about Pyro. So, uh, anyways, as you can see, guys, he's got that little blue hat on to mark him that he's a good guy. Level 6, of course, as you can see, standing back to back. Why are you standing back to back? You're not allowed to do that. This is Red Clones. You, your job is to kill the Red Clones. Anyway, uh, as you can see, guys, that mask that he's wearing, it looks kind of cool. Um... He's got that flamethrower, kind of has that, like, yellow thing over there. And when it ends, the flame kind of looks really cool. And when you look around, it looks like a bunch of yellow splotches coming everywhere. And anyway, yeah. Now, let's check out Pyro's skins. All right. Um, all right, his skin. Whoa! That looks kind of cool. I mean, he's shaved bald. His mask looks pretty cool, but it doesn't... It, it looks like a plastic mask, but it also kind of looks like a metal mask. But it kind of tricks you into thinking it's metal because of the silver lining on it. Um, and as you can see, he's got that head. Oh, his head is shaved bald. He's got that colonel uh, hat on to make him look like he's actually the colonel. He's got the strap. That looks kind of fancy. Of course, he's barefoot, camouflage. 
Um, I can't really buy them because I don't have 500 coins. I only have 54, sadly. But, um, yeah, I I guess I'm just going to have the basic pyro skin applied. Um, anyways, now let's finally read Pyro's description. Alright, so, Pyro is a common clone. His enemies should think twice whether they want to play with fire, since Pyro's flamethrower takes down multiple enemies at once. So, yeah, he's like the only clone that can do splash damage to other clones. That's just what makes him perfect, you know? How many times have I said that already? But yeah... That's just what everyone loves about Pyro. Really. Wait, I want to see the clone fall down. Oh, it didn't do anything. Just look at this. Boom. Pyro. He, he already killed four clones, you know? And he can actually do as ma as many clones as standing. Like, he can uh, flame a thousand clones standing behind each clone, and it could still kill all of them. I mean, it's going to make that huge explosion, just like y'all probably saw in uh, my Colonel 2 Challenge video. Um, I'm still, you know, this one was actually also supposed to be a co-op with Oni. Not really Oni, but maybe other people, but nobody really responded on the Discord if they wanted a co-op. So I guess this is just gonna be an all-pyro video then. But, yeah. Guys, there's really not much to pyro. Um, he's just, in conclusion, he's just a perfect clone when playing in defense. Like... Uh, maybe, or no, when attacking, like, a lot of Pyros, he's useful in, in Exterminator, definitely, because he can stay behind, and he can literally burn Exterminator to death. Honestly, in my opinion, I feel like Exterminator should have, like, less, and he's actually gonna be in my last video, I think. I honestly feel like Exterminator should have, like, barely any health uh, whenever it comes to Pyro, and I think that, um... It should do more damage to him with Pyro because, like, he's all electric, right? And if you burn, uh, fire and electricity, guys, does not match, all right? Just like, wa it's kind of like water and electricity. Doesn't really match too well. But, uh, yeah, I don't want to sound like a pyromaniac here, but Pyro is a very cool clone to have, and, I mean, he's perfect. Now, let's just test out his health in the sentry area. Come on, engineer. Let's see what you got. See, his damage against a sentry gun doesn't really do much if it's like a level 6 or le like a level 5 pyro or higher. He doesn't do much. Now, let's try going to the cyborg area and doing the exact same thing. Let's burn these guys like a barbecue. And yeah. It's it's cool, man. It does more damage once you, once you get to the laser part, but yeah. Anyways, guys, that really is all to know about Pyro. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe. Uh, hit the bell to never miss any video. Um, yeah, I just hope you guys enjoyed. Um, make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe. Hit the bell to never miss any video, like I said. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Next episode will be Sapper, and I believe that will be on September 5th. So, uh, Hong Tian, I know you're waiting for this video right now. Um, uh, my sapper video is going to be on September 5th. September 5th, alright? Central Standard Time. So, to you, if you live in Vietnam, it might be, like, one day after September 5th. Like, September 6th, maybe. Or maybe a little before, like, September 4th. I don't know, so... But don't be frustrated. Don't rush me in the videos. Um, thank you very much. Uh, and I, this, this doesn't just go to Hong Tien. It goes for everybody. If you guys are excited to uh do it make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video make sure you leave a like and subscribe hit the bell once again i'm at 140 subscribers almost at 150 so if you guys could help me get there uh i would be that would be greatly greatly appreciated so thank you guys bye bye see you in my separate video on september 5th peace out